What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and you just saw a quick unboxing on the HP ZBook Firefly G11 mobile workstation laptop. So what comes inside the box? You have your setup instruction guide right here. Awesome. You have your power cable and you have your power adapter. Now the power adapter is a type C connection, 100 watts. Awesome. Let's take the power cable and the power adapter and let's hook it up. Awesome. Let's put this stuff to the side. And then last but not least, we have the beautiful HP ZBook Firefly G11 weighing around 4.0 pounds with a thickness of 0.82 inches. It's so awesome. Oh, beautiful. All right. So let's hook up the power. Let's open this guy up power it on and then go over some of the key features as well as the specifications on the G11. All right, so you guys probably wondering why I have the laptop like this. Now the HP ZBook G11 has some type of feature. A lot of these laptops nowadays have this feature that as soon as you open it up, it powers on, but I don't want that to power on during the video. Uh, you are able to disable that feature. So um, I wanna show you guys the opening of it and I want to show you where the power button is actually located which is located right here between the print screen and the delete button and I want to press it while that's booting up you should see a quick b-roll of the machine booting up Now this laptop, you're able to use Windows Hello to log into it, or you're able to use the fingerprint scanner, which is located right here. I'm gonna use my finger to actually log into it. Awesome. Now, before we start the review, let's give it power, make sure it doesn't shut down on us. Now let's go over some of the ports and features on the HP G11. Now on the right-hand side, we have a headphone slash microphone combo jack. We have one five gigabit per second USB port and we have a nano SIM slot. On the left-hand side, we have an HDMI port, an additional five gigabit per second USB port, two Thunderbolt Type-C ports, and last but not least, a smart card reader. All right, so let's go over some of the features on the HP 11. Let's talk about the trackpad. Now, I was super surprised on the trackpad on this laptop. It worked. It was functional. I did not have any issues on this trackpad. And I've tested a lot of laptops out and I always have issues with the trackpad. Yes, I did plug in a USB mouse and I was using that, but I was comfortable using this trackpad that I didn't really use the mouse a lot, which was great. Now, the measurement on this trackpad, which is pretty large, and it measures around 5.05 inches. Now, let's talk about the keyboard on the G11. Now, the keyboard is a full keyboard layout with the number pad right here on your right-hand side. Uh, using the keyboard, it is super responsive. I didn't have any issues at all, which was great. Uh, if you want to know the distance between each key, it is around 0 0.11 inches, which is standard. The keyboard is backlit. You make sure you press the function key and F9 to turn it on and off. It has about two levels but it works when you're using it in a dark area. One of the cool things about the G11 on the keyboard, it comes with a new Microsoft Copilot button. You're able to press it and then right away, you're able to use that feature, which is great. Now for speakers, the speakers are actually located on your right hand and left hand side at the bottom. Speakers are pretty loud. The room was at 77 decibels. When I raised the volume up to 50%, it went up to 83.5 decibels, which was an increase of 6.5. Now, when I bumped up the volume to 100%, it went up to 94.5 decibels, which was an increase of 11 decibels, a total of 17 decibels. So this machine is pretty loud, which is great. Now for the display on the G11, it is non-touch, which is great. I love that feature. It is rocking a 16 inch IPS anti-glare display. Resolution is 2880 by 1800. The brightness level right now, this is the highest for the brightness level. Let's hold the function key and then press F4. This is the highest. This is the lowest for the brightness. And this is the highest. Let's go up one more time. And let's go down one more time. And let's go up. 
Look at that. Awesome. Now the laptop is able to do HDR. Just make sure you plug in the power adapter to enable that feature. But the, the colors and the display is just beautiful. I love this laptop when you're designing and doing Photoshop and Illustrator or making modifications or photos. This is this is a laptop to go if you are a designer. Now the refresh rate for this display, the default setting is set to dynamic, which is 60 Hertz or 120. It will automatically go in between. It will adjust that for you, but you are able to configure that setting and just set it either to 60 Hertz or 120. You can even do 48 Hertz. At the top of the display, we have a webcam and the webcam right now, the specs on this uh, photo, you got 3.7 megapixels with a ratio of 16 by nine resolutions for the photos of 2960 by 1440. Now, if you're using it for video, the highest is 1440 and 30 frames per second, which is great. Uh, the webcam does have this privacy guard, which we are able to slide it to your right to enable it, which is great, super easy to turn it off and on. Now I did capture some footage of me setting up the OBS studio with the webcam and using the built-in mics, which is located on the left and the right-hand side of the webcam. So let's take a look at that footage. What's going on guys? I am using the HP ZBook Firefly G11 webcam and the built-in mics. This is how it looks. You just saw me configuring OBS Studio. Uh, I condensed the output to 1920 by 1080. I believe it is doing 30 frames per second. It looks pretty good. Hopefully when the video renders out and I put it into Audition or actually Premiere to do the editing, it will look a little better. But this is how it looks using the webcam and the built-in mics on the G11. All right, so we just went over some of the ports and features, went over the trackpad, the keyboard, the display, the webcam, the mic. We went over all that good stuff. Let's talk about the performance on the G11. So we're gonna get super fancy. We're gonna hold the control key, shift, and hit the escape key to bring up the task manager. We are going to maximize it. We're going to go into here. We're gonna right click on the CPU, change graph to logical processor. And this machine is housing an Intel Core Ultra 7 165H processor with a base speed of 1.40 gigahertz, one socket, 16 cores, 22 logical processors. Wow, right now it is currently around 3.6675 gigahertz. This guy is a beast. For memory, it is housing 32 gigs. Uh, it has a one, a two terabyte NVMe solid state drive. The first graphics card is actually the Intel Arc graphics. We have the MPU, which is the AI boost. This is awesome for those individuals that are into artificial intelligence. And last but not least, it has an NVIDIA RTX A500 laptop. GPU with four gigs. Now, overall performance on the G11, it was on point. I was able to do Premiere, DaVinci, Illustrator, Photoshop. It just ran awesome with no problems. I was able to edit 4K videos without creating proxy files within Adobe Premiere. I had a lot of fun using this machine with the specifications that it has. Now, for heating, uh, it did get a little hot between this little area right here and the display between 80 to 93 degrees. And the reason why is because between the display and the keyboard, there is a vent system right here. Even touching it, I feel the heat right here. Now, because the G11 is housing in the NVIDIA RTX A500, I had to play some games on it. I was able to play Street Fighter with no problems. And because of this beautiful display, the colors in Street Fighter was just popping. It was just gorgeous. I did also play a little bit of X Defiance and the graphics on that, it just worked really well. All right, so we just went over some of the specifications on the G11. It's amazing, awesome. So let's talk about the battery life. Laptop battery life is super important because you do not want to be power, you know, hooked up with the power all the time. You want to be mobile. You want to unplug and then go at it. Uh, so battery life. So let's close this up. And I like to use PC Mark 10. I ran it a couple of times because the first time that I ran it, it gave me two hours and 20 minutes. I was like, okay, that's pretty strange. I ran it with another test, which was video battery life. 
two hours and 19. And I was like, wait a minute, that's too low for this laptop. I ran it again using gaming an hour, 18 minutes, which is really good. An hour, 18 minutes, just playing games without being hooked up to uh, the power supply. And I still find it strange, two hours, one hour, that was really weird. So I completely drained the battery, charged it up, ran it again, and I got a better time of four hours and 38 minutes, which is not that bad. Uh, I use another program right here, and this one actually gave me five hours and 53 minutes. And I'll, I'll say average, depending on what you're doing on this laptop, you could get between five to six hours of battery lifetime. If you adjust the brightness, because I had the brightness pretty bright, I had it all the way up. And the power options I have, like, never go to sleep. If you adjust all that stuff, you could probably get between, I would say, 6.5 to 7 hours. You could probably even stretch it even longer. If you're not surfing online, watching videos, and you're just doing Word documents and Excel, light photo editing, you could probably get eight hours of battery life on the G11. All right, so let's conclude our review slash unboxing on the HP ZBook Firefly G11 mobile workstation laptop. Uh, external monitors. Yes, you are able to hook up a native HDMI uh, monitor into this guy as well as two native Type-C monitors, giving you three, but, you know, uh, you got to worry about that power. Uh, I wasn't able to hook up a native monitor with Type-C connection, so I actually had to use a Type-C adapter to hook up a HDMI, but you are able to hook up three monitors if that's what you want to do. Now, overall experience using this laptop, I had a lot of fun, super powerful. Uh, it's pretty heavy. Uh, I don't really see myself traveling with this guy a lot. It's one of those laptops that you set it and somewhere in your desk to use it. Uh, you are able to travel with it. You know, if you got one of those comfortable book bags, go for it. Upgrading the G11 is super easy. If you take out those five screws at the bottom of the laptop and then make sure carefully take the panel uh, the back panel off, you're able to see all the parts. You're able to see the NVMe solid state drive and also the memory that you're able to replace anytime. 16 inches is not that bad. Again, 4.0 pounds. It is a solid machine to carry around if you want to do that. Ports and features, it's great. Uh, I think the only thing that is lacking in my department would be a SD card for uh, my camera so I could just slap them in there and get all the video content. That's the only thing that's lacking. That's just something that I have to carry in my book bag, uh, like a Type-C or a USB SD card reader so I, I can get the footage within my cameras. Now for pricing, it all depends on how you get it spec'd out. So let's open up Chrome real quick. And the ZBook Firefly configuration, HP actually gives you a nice little website that you're able to configure and check out the pricing. Now, I'm going to configure it what I have right now, what I've been reviewing with you guys. So the type of processor, you got a lot of flavors. You are able to do AMD, uh, Intel Core Ultra, or just basically Intel Core. Uh, we are going to do the Intel Core Ultra 7 because that is what this guy is housing. For the graphics card, we are going to do the NVIDIA because that is what we have. We have the RTX A500 with four gigs. And for memory, 16, 32, or 64, this laptop actually has 32 gigs. I just want to see what's the price range for this particular model. But again, if you go into the site, and I will provide the link at the bottom so you guys are able to play around uh, and spec it out the way that you want it. 12 available configurations. And if we look at the pricing, uh, wow, I can't really look at the pricing. You actually got to click on shop now to actually look at one of the pricings. So let's just pick one. We got the 165H, which is this guy right here. Uh, 32 gigs. Let's look, let's look at this one right here. So let's click on shop now. And if we do shop now, woof, CDW is selling it for 2615. Staples is selling it for $21.29. And then you have this other weird company selling it for $23.44. Wow. It is, wow. I would say between, uh, depending on what model you get and the specifications, $3,000.
Oh, that is crazy. Wow. And this is the 16 inch, right? And that's the 16 inch, correct? Yep. 16 inch. You got the 14 inch, 14 inch with the 165H Ultra 7 processor and the graphics card with the 32 gigs, the one terabyte solid state drive. Let's do shop now for that 14 inch. Let's see how much that one costs you. 14 inch is going to cost at Staples $21.90. This weird company that I never heard of around $2,400, $2,400. So I would say roughly $2,700 for the 1400 This guy is really expensive. Uh, yeah. Wow. So Everland laptop is great. It is really expensive. I don't really see myself purchasing a $3,000 laptop. I mean, if I do have the budget for it, I will go for it because this is the type of laptop that I would love to have in the lab to do my video editing. Uh, I would love to have this laptop at the lab to do my video editing. Uh, and that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review on the HP ZBook Firefly G11 mobile workstation laptop. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.